I would like to introduce to you lovely Mike here who's going to talk to us about what we're going to experience today. What do you got for us today? What have I got for you today? Well, we've got breath, energy work, tapping, grounding, and we're going to combine these elements together, these modalities, to tune into our bodies and work out what our energy state is. But the most important thing about this is we're going to have some fun. That's an order, okay? So, it's gonna, so, so the, the framework is playfulness. You can't get any of this wrong because there is no wrong, there is no right. And it's just really about us learning what's going on with our bodies and just being curious about what happens when we um, tune into our energy state. So let's just start maybe by just shaking off the hands, shaking off the feet, just seeing what the ankles are like, what the hands feel like. Maybe a little... Shake them hard, shake them soft, whatever feels right to you. There's no wrong or right. If your body's feeling it wants to relax a little, just be really gentle. If you're feeling you want to be dynamic, then shake the arms, shake the feet. And then maybe, you know, if you want to yawn, <laughs> if you want to sigh, even if you want to fart, ladies don't fart, that's just you, Seb, right? <laughs> this is about letting go of whatever you need to let go of, right? So it's, it's a letting go session or an invitation to let go. No obligation, right? And maybe just, if the body wants to move a little, you're doing it naturally there. Ginger, you're just letting, you know, whatever the body wants to, let's just let it move and shake a little. Just to loosen up, maybe you want to bend forward, I don't know what your back's like, just really see where there's tension in the body, see where there's space, and just allow yourself to go to wherever that calling, that curiosity takes you. Oh, man, I think we need to go to bed. So look, Je Joni's dancing, I love it. That's amazing. Gotta dance. Oh. Seb, you're doing the ballistics, that. You're allowing the... Oh, okay. No competition there. So when you're ready, just allow those movements just to come to a pause and maybe have your feet sort of shoulder width and a comfortable position. And then just begin to bend the knees a little, just gently towards the floor. And then maybe begin to just drop the hands like this towards the floor. <sighs> no wrong or right. And just breathe normally. There's no wrong or right in this practice. We're just bending the knees, dropping the hands towards the floor. <sighs> if you want to sigh, if there's any breath that needs to be let go, <sighs> you can let it go. We're just trying to send a signal to the parasympathetic nervous system that it's okay to chill, to relax. There's no obligation, but we're just saying, hello, body, it's okay. It's the afternoon, you can drop down. And as you drop your weight down through your knees, maybe just allow your attention to rest on the soles of your feet, this contact point to the earth, your left foot, your right foot, the soles of your feet. Just keep breathing normally, and as you allow your attention to rest on the soles of your feet, just tune into what it feels like as you drop your weight down through your feet, through your knees, and what does it feel like under the soles of your feet? So I'm standing on this stone, it's a little bit rough, it's actually quite warm, but what does it feel like for you if you're standing on a yoga mat? Squishy? Seb, what's it feeling like for you? Joni? Yeah, it's soft. Soft? Jen, you've kind of got socks on, or? I'm nice and grounded. Nice. <laughs> and a feeling? Cold and textured. Cold and textured, okay. So we're allowing our awareness just to rest there, just allowing the body to softly move, for the knees to move. And as you allow your attention to rest on the soles of your feet, maybe just take a look at what's there in front of you in the foreground and the background. So tuning into the eyes, the sense of sight, and just maybe saying what you see in the foreground, what you see in the background, you can say it internally to yourself, or you can even say it out loud, whatever feels good. We're just tuning in to the, the sight, to the eyes, dropping the weight down. <sighs> just remembering to breathe, no particular pace, just a normal pace. Feeling the weight of the body drop down through into the feet. And maybe if there's anything you want to let go of, maybe just imagining dropping that feeling, whatever it may be that you want to release down into the feet, down into the earth. No obligation to do that. So as you allow this sensation to move through the body, 
just tune into what you can actually hear. What sounds are alive for you right here, right now, this present moment? Can you hear your breath? The wind, the water. Just allowing your senses to come online in a slightly more heightened way, sense of sound. And then let's just take three sniffs of air through the nose, through the mouth, whatever feels good for you. Ah, let it out. Take another. Ah, maybe take another big sniff of air. Ah, what does it feel like to breathe? Does it feel expansive? Does it feel difficult? Is the chest tight or loose? Are there any smells that come out as you breathe? Can you smell the ocean? Seb, what could you sense then when you were breathing in and out? What was alive for you? Sound of the water. Okay. Release. 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 Jan, what was, what was alive for you as you bre were breathing in and out there? Nice. Through the nostrils or yes. just... Okay. Mandy? Hold on my back of my throat and a little bit of tension in my chest. Nice. You're dialed in. That's great. Joni? Yeah, the cool air going up my nostrils through my nasal passages and turning. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it doesn't matter it's, it's it's so hard sometimes to put words to the sensations right and maybe we don't need to it's a bit of a it's a bit naughty to ask but it's just kind of another another level of awareness right <laughs> maybe not pretty much yeah. pretty much we're just allowing the body to tune into what's happening right what's stiff what's tight you're right combing energy so yawns are good yawns are brilliant so what tastes are on your lips? I mean, have you had lunch? Have you had a cup of coffee? Just tuning into the sense of taste. Maybe there's nothing there, right? What do you guys had? Chocolate? I did pumpkin seeds. Fishy tacos. Oh, Sam, that's so sexy. I had fishy tacos for lunch. Yeah, I like it. So did you. I did. My chapstick for me. Ah, and what's the flavor of the chapstick? Some yeah. kind of flavor. I, I can't describe it. Don't need to. Doesn't matter. Yeah, tuning into that sense of taste, right? And then finally, just tuning into, I know we're inside here, so we've helped ourselves, but tuning into what the air feels like on your skin, on your face, anything that's bare, your legs, your chest, whatever it may be, just allowing the sense to rest on the skin. And is it warm? Is it cold? Is it a cool breeze? What is what is happening on the surface of the body, the skin, and then maybe one level down or one level up, what is it like to be wearing clothes, right? None of us are naked. So what is it like? Are the clothes loose? Are they tight? Are they comfortable? Are they itchy? Just really tuning into the whole of the skin that we're enveloped in from our legs up to the back of our neck. Just tuning into these five senses and just seeing curiously what's there. Little exercise in playfully tuning in. <sighs> Keep breathing in and out at a natural pace, whatever feels good to you. And maybe just visualize you have roots and these roots are growing out of the soles of your feet and these roots go all the way down through this surface here, this stone, through the rock, through the earth, all the way to the center of the earth. These roots that can hold you safe and strong and they're touching the mantle, which is the molten energy core right in the center of the earth. Can you visualize that? And these roots are going to bring up a light, a white healing light, full of energy from the center of the earth. It's going to come up through the rocks, up through the dirt, up through the floor, up through your yoga mats, up through your knees, up into your hips. And it's going to land here, two inches below the belly button. Can you tap there with the flats of your hands? A couple of inches below the belly button. This is the Dantian. This is the energy center, the battery pack of the body, chi, life force, whatever you want to call it and we're tapping on it, 
to help Seb digest his lunch, but also to bring an energetic awareness to this space. You know, the belly is, it's our second brain, right? More nervous connections up from the belly than down from the brain to the belly. Get that, the belly is the real brain. So we're just tapping on it to bring this energetic attention. Ah, breathing in, breathing out. Bad, it makes me want to yawn. <laughs> Breath. Ah. And when you're ready, you can begin to release this. Allow the hands just to drop by the sides again. And then we're just going to stick with this movement just for another 10 or 20 seconds. Maybe just slowing it down to the point where the movement becomes almost imperceptible. Bring it on, we like laughter, and the more the better. Mm. And when you're ready, let's just pause the movement. And just close your eyes if you're happy to. Keep the knees bent. Ah, just breathe normally. And just tune into what it feels like to be in your body. We've done this for maybe 10 minutes. We've worked the eyes, the ears, smell, sensations on the skin, sound. Tapped on our belly, yeah. Allow these roots to connect us to the earth. Is there a sense of tingle or buzz in your fingers, in your arms? Yeah? In your feet. Any fingertips, Mandy? Anything happening or? Yeah, tingling in my fingers. Joni? No wrong or right, we're just exploring what's happening. You know, we've moved the body, we've put some focus and attention and awareness on the feet and then on the senses and then this movement and standing still. Ah, so when you're ready, you can open your eyes and again, if you're happy to shake off the feet, shake off the hands. And then grab a, a mat if you want to lay down. Oh, and this is still connected. Give me just a second. <laughs> Mike's disconnected the mic. That's not good. So I just put it on there like that. What do you think? Like that? It is. Yay! So if you want to lay down, that would be great. Just on your backs. Um, we're not going to be here too long, maybe five, ten minutes. So there are pillows if you need them. But do you want a mat, Jen? You want to? Yeah, yeah. If, yeah, of course you are. You're going to play the bowls even better. They weren't going to play themselves, were they? <laughs> Wishful thinking. This is not a Harry Potter movie. Or <laughs> well, maybe it could be. Mm. So if you're happy, you can put your right hand on your belly just where you were tapping before, a couple of inches below the belly button. And your left hand on your heart, left side, top. And we're just going to breathe for maybe five, six, seven, eight minutes. And we're going to breathe a really simple breath pattern. We're going to breathe in through the nose for a count of three and then out through the mouth for a count of six. But as we breathe in through the nose, I want you to visualize that you're breathing in this really, really delicate golden thread and you don't want to snap this thread. So it's a very gentle, smooth breath. And then on the out breath through the mouth, imagining you're pursing your lips slightly and there's a candle just in front of you, your lips and you just want to flicker the flame. You don't want to blow it out. So it's a very gentle, smooth in-breath and out-breath. And again, there's no wrong, wrong or right here. We're just exploring how that's going to feel. So right hand on belly, left hand on heart. And when you're ready, just take a normal breath in, ah, out. And then we're going to breathe in for a count of three. So I'm going to count you to begin with. So when you're ready, so let's start again. Let's reset. So just take a normal breath, let it go. Then we're going to count in for three, breathing in through the nose, one, two, three, then gently out through the mouth for a count of six, two, three, four, five, six, gently through the nose, two, three, and out through the mouth smoothly, calmly, two, three, Four, five, six, 
Now begin to count your own rhythm, the same three in, the same six out. Smooth, delicate, gentle. As you breathe in this time, just see if you can feel the right hand moving outwards as the in-breath comes into your body, filling your lungs from the bottom up. And then as the out-breath is released, can you feel the hand coming back towards the spine? So you're filling your lungs from the bottom up. Almost like a jug of water been filled from the bottom up. Again, if it's comfortable, you can make the breath a little more deep if it's easy to do, a little more smooth. If not, just stick with where you are. process to breathe. Breath is our life force. We can shape it, we can use it in any way we like. Right now we've just been smooth and gentle. As you breathe, how soft can you make your body? How soft can you allow your shoulders to be? How much softness can you invite into the chest, the heart area? Feeling the weight of your spine, your legs been held by the earth. held and supported. Allowing the music to wash over you and through you and into you, like the water on the sea behind us. Breath flows in, breath flows out. Breathing this time, can you allow your awareness to rest on your heart, on your hand that's on your heart? And can you feel, can you feel, can you feel the heart beating below your hand? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. It's fine either way. The heart is our pump for the blood, but it's so much more. This is where we feel, this is where we feel, this is where we feel. Breathing in, breathing out. Do you feel that sense of connection, hand on your heart, that connection to yourself? tenderness, a softness. If you can feel that, that's amazing. If you can, that's amazing too. Just feeling the weight of the body being held by the mat, being held by the earth. Feeling the breath coming in and out. This 
is a moment of pause. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Just lay on your back and breathe. Allow the breath to flow in and out like it has all of your life. As you breathe in this time, can you sense any type of connection between the hand that's on the heart and the hand that's on the belly? The muscles are moving, the rib cage is lifting, but can you sense any other connection? Maybe there's a sense of energy between those points. Maybe there isn't. We're just tuning into the belly, our second brain and the heart, our emotional center. As we breathe in gently for a count of three through the nose and then we let the air out of the mouth gently for a count of six. Feeling the body held by the earth. Allowing the weight of our body just to be supported by the earth, by the mat. Let's stay with this breath pattern for another four or five rounds. Just seeing how much more softness you can invite into the legs, into the belly. Softness behind the eyes. Softness in the calves and the feet. How much can we let go? How much can we surrender? just to the breath. And when you feel ready, you can come back to your regular breathing pattern, whatever that may be. Slowly and surely just stay laying down and just as you come back to that regular pattern, just feel into any shifts or any changes that have perhaps occurred as you've been laying here breathing. Maybe you feel a sense of ease. Maybe you don't. There's no wrong or right here. We're learning to trace the energy flow and where that energy moves and where it gets stuck in our body. There's no outcome. It's just to really trace it and invite the energy to move a little more freely. And if it can, that's great. If it can't, that's great too. We're just exploring the felt sense, the energy and feeling tone of the body. What it's like to be a human right here, right now. 4.30 in the afternoon in Baja. So when you're ready, you can perhaps wiggle the toes or the fingers, move the body in any way that feels good. Give yourself lots of time, be gentle. If there's any tension, you can move the leg side to side or the neck or wherever. If there's anything that's sensing it's a little tight, just feel free to move in a way that feels good to you. We need to yawn. <sighs> we need to make any noises. We've eaten too many chilies. Just let it all out. It's all good. Mm. I don't know, are you feeling too sleepy to stand up now or?
Relaxed is good. Relaxed is good. Oh, nice. Yeah, change the energy. We like that, Jim. So when you feel up to it, let's gently come up to standing any way that feels good to you. You can roll on your side or come straight up. <sighs> that feels really primal, that position for me, that's, that feels really primal. It's like ready for hiding in the bushes and ready for action. <sighs> mm. Okay, I like that, on the toes, rolling in, rolling out. What does that feel like it's doing for you? Is it just kind of instinctive to move the toes or it's like a stretch or? <laughs> Looks great. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it feels, does it feel good? That's cool. So we've grounded in the first part of the practice. We've kind of messed around with the five senses. We've breathed and hopefully accessed a little bit of calm. So the next section is we're gonna work through um, the energy lines, the meridian lines, which you were talking about that are from Chinese medicine, ancient highways of energy that run through the body. And we're just gonna tap on these lines down the arms and down the body, just to see if we can engage a different type of focus on our energy. So let's begin with... Do we, does it matter if I have multiple areas? No, not at all. Do you, well, it's up to you. Are you warm enough? Yeah. Leave it on. It's fine. Okay. So let's have left palm facing the sky. And then we're going to start with the right palm. We're going to tap down from the shoulder all the way to the fingertips at a rhythm that feels good to you. So if you want to be, you've just obviously, you guys have just been laying down, so you might want to be gentle with yourselves. But if you want to wake yourself up, you can dynamically tap a little faster, a little firmer, and just really letting your attention rest on, on, on the feeling tone, what it feels like to have your right hand tapping on your left arm. Sounds like a really dumb thing, but like, what does it feel like? That's the one job, just to sense this right hand tapping on the forearm, on the bicep. Really feeling and sensing what that might be like. When you get back up to the shoulder, we're going to face the palm down towards the earth. Remember to breathe your own natural breath pattern. Ah, sigh if it feels good, if you're carrying tension, take a big breath and sigh or whatever feels good. And just sense is the tension in the forearms. Those of us that have been doing yoga or swimming, maybe there's some tension. Maybe the biceps are tight. No wrong or right, just tuning into what's happening in this left arm as we tap with the right hand. Maybe it's another form of massage for you two guys that have had massage already, right? I don't know. <laughs> Shh, it's been recorded. When you get to the shoulder, thumb in the air like you're hitching a lift when you get to the shoulder. See, there's another skill there. So you're tapping down this inside edge of the arm that's now facing up towards the sky. That feels tight for me on the forearm there. On that, I don't know why. Yeah, maybe he's carrying bags or something, I don't know. Yeah. Breathing in, breathing out, just allowing your attention just to rest on what it feels like to tap this right hand on your right arm. When you get to the shoulder, we're going to lift our arm up in the air. We're going to tap under the back side of the arm, under these soft side of the biceps, down onto the elbow joint. What does that feel like? Tapping on the elbow, that's something you don't do every day, right? I would imagine. Is it uncomfortable? Is it okay? And then tapping all the way down to the little pinky finger. How does that feel? You can say, hello, little pinky, how are you? You can bring any energy you like to your body. This is a playful session. You can do what the hell you like. You can talk to your body, you can talk to your hands. It's all good. And when we get to the underside of the arm, we're gonna tap down the left side of the ribs, the intercostal muscles that bind the ribs together, often get tight, the heart's in there, right? Tapping down, coming a little bit to the center line, tapping on the belly like we did before, and then tapping out to the left, onto the left, Hip here, what are, you, what are we holding in the hips, guys? Anything sensitive in that area as we tap? And we can then just bring our hand back up the middle, up the center line of the belly again. 
Breathing in, breathing out, and then maybe just tapping on the sternum between the breasts, the chest. What does that feel like to be on the sternum? Yeah. And then tapping onto the collarbone, left side collarbone. You can tap with your fingers on that left side collarbone. What's that like? Is that comfortable? Is that uncomfortable? Does it offer relief? Is it boring? Is it dull? And then tapping on the back of the shoulders with the flats of the hands. Yeah, that shoulder's tight. Definitely from swimming. How about you guys? Any tension there? Just being with what you find. We're not trying to change anything. We're just inviting in a curious attention. And if the energy wants to shift, so be it. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Back around the front of the shoulder. Back down the sternum or even on the left breast. And then the diaphragm, the joint, joint between the chest and the belly. What is that like? Wow, that's tight for me, the diaphragm. How about you? Is that comfortable or is it a little bit? When I started doing it, I wanted to hold my breath. I don't want to cough. Yeah, that's fair enough. And then back down to the belly button with the right hand. And then just let's pause. Let's let our hands dangle by our sides. Maybe close our eyes, allow the knees to be soft and just Tune into the left side of the body, the left arm that we just worked, left rib cage, the belly, left hip, left shoulder at the back, and compare that left side of the body to the right side of the body. Do they have a different energy quality? So for me, tingle in the left fingers big time, warmth in the left bicep, right arm just feels a bit solid. You guys, any? My right side feels stiffer right, right. than my left side. Okay. Ooh. Heavy on the Light on the left, heavy on the right. Were you guys tapping on the Yeah, because you're moving it too, yeah. Doesn't matter, we'll do the opposite if you're doing whichever way around it was. But on the left side, does the left side have a different quality to the right side? No wrong or right, because it doesn't matter. We're just we're tuning into the body. You know it's Interesting. Yeah. Left side Me feels too. Energized you feel it energized? Yeah. 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 Left side, right. Right. Oh, because I was tapping it. But you I were tapping the way around, yeah? What? So you, which, so which, I was wondering, was I tapping the arm? Did you tap the left arm with the right hand? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. There's no wrong or right here. It's just we're, we're, we're tuning into the body. And this, this one feels like... Yeah, because you've, maybe. Yeah. yeah, but I was also cycling that one. I wonder if you've been... <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> Let's, let's just think about what you were just doing for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool though, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's interesting. And let's do the opposite. Let's put our right palm towards the sky. Let's have our left hand tapping down from the shoulder, down this inside edge of the arm, down the right bicep. Again, if you want to play around, you could be firmer, faster with the way that hand moves, or just stay with what's there, whatever feels good to you. So for me, that's mega tight, right towards the wrist. Something weird going on the right wrist. And about you guys, just... Yeah. I have the, the, the on this side and this side. Well, you're consistent. Yeah. And then we can work our way back up that right arm, tapping with the left hand. Not forgetting to breathe, just your normal breath pattern. Again, you can maybe invite a softness into the knees so we don't get too stiff in the body. And when it's the shoulder right, palm down towards the earth, tapping down the outside edge of the arm. This is probably not a good practice if you've got sunburn, right? This would not be good. <laughs> that would be a high quality problem to have. <laughs> Tapping onto the back of the hand. <laughs> ah, Swedish massage. <laughs> yeah. Cool, energy loosening. That's a nice way of expressing it, energy loosening. Thumb in the air when you get to the top. I'm going to tap down this sort of edge of the arm facing the ceiling. Energy loosening. That's a beautiful way of seeing it. We're kind of in a rhythm together ish, sort of ish. Entrainment. Entrainment. You got it. Mm -hmm. And then again, when we get to the underside, we'll tap on this underside of the arm. God, I have stiff rotator cuff. You guys, how are the shoulders? Can you put the arms in the air really easily? Mm -hmm. You're very lucky. <laughs> and then tapping all the way back down. 
You can put it down now, sir. It must be exhausting for you, darling. <laughs> Tapping down the right side of the ribs, you've got the liver and the gallbladder contained in here. Too much coffee, too much alcohol, maybe the liver's screaming, I don't know, could be. Tapping down the right side of the body onto the right hip. That is super active for me. I don't know about you guys. How's the right hip, Jen? Is it? Yeah. Mandy? Yeah, hips are okay, but my stomach is always sore. Little, little sensitive. We can work our way back up. Maybe up the center of the body onto the sternum with the flats of the hands or the fingers, whatever's easier. And then onto the right collarbone. Always feels odd to tap the collarbone, but it's, it's a different kind of sensation. Then back around the right shoulder. How's that feeling? Any different to the left? And then back around the front of this right shoulder and not forgetting to breathe, allowing the body to be as soft as you can. Back down the right breast, back down across the diaphragm on the right side. Whew. That's such a yucky feeling. It can make you so sick, the diaphragm, right? It's such a sensitive part of the body for some of us. Tight like a drum, right? Back onto the belly. Maybe two hands on the belly just for a couple of seconds. Knees soft. Are you all cool with being able to bend down and work the front line of the body? No back problems that are going to stop anyone bending down? No, you can just stay tapping the belly if it's going to hurt. Just stay tapping the belly or whatever feels good. Those of us that can bend easily, let's tap down onto the hips left and right. I'm going to tap down the front line of the body, down the quads. All the way down the quads, what are they like? Down onto the knees, this beautiful fluid joint, right? Even, even for us older people, the knees are good, they're fluid, they're mobile. Down onto the shins. I'm not sure I tap my shins that often. It's working our way down to the feet and tapping onto the tops of the feet, maybe somewhere we don't go to pretty often. Maybe tapping onto both the big toes left and right and working your way out. Little Mexican wave for those toes, tapping on them. And then when you're, when you're ready and down there, yeah, yeah. when you're ready and down there, we can could, we could tap up the back line. We're going to tap up the Achilles tendons. What are they like, you guys? Is there a tension? Tapping onto the tops of the Achilles onto the calf, sorry, the calf muscles at the back. Tapping on the back of the knees, that's somewhere most of us don't go with our hands. It's kind of a weird one, isn't it? Don't know what that feels like for you. And then onto the bottom of those hamstrings. What's that like for the yoga teacher? How are those hamstrings, yoga teacher? <laughs> How are your hamstrings? Cool. Lower glutes, how are your glutes? What is... Ooh. Ooh. Nice toning exercise. Yeah. And then just working your way up to the kidneys here, just above the hip bones. And just coming back around the front, back onto the belly. It's like a little workout, a little tapping workout. And then finally, this is kind of weird, but we're going to use the tips of fingers with both hands. We're going to tap onto the back of the skull, the back of the neck. Really seeing if you want to tap firmly or gently working your way up to the crown of the head, the connection point to the heavens, the top of the head. Gently tapping on that crown area and then working your way down the front line of the skull, the forehead. Breathing in, breathing out naturally. Maybe tapping on the eyebrow center, the third eye, the place of all knowing and wisdom in ancient culture. Tapping over the left and right eyebrows and then allowing the fingers to tap around the eye sockets. How are those eyes, guys? Too long on the phone? Maybe they're enjoying the beach, the sun. Tapping onto the cheekbones. Maybe we skip the bridge in the nose. Should we go back and do the bridge in the nose? Why not? Let's do that. That can be pretty sensitive. Making sure that we breathe in and out at our normal pace, allowing the fingers to come back onto the cheeks. And then working our way backwards to the jaw muscles. Sort of, and opening the mouth if you can, an inch or so, making the jaw go slack and tapping on those jaw muscles, allowing the jaw to be slack. 
Breathing in and out a couple of times. We often carry a lot of tension there. It might not be comfortable. If it's too uncomfortable, just close the mouth. But this time as you tap on the jaw muscles, can you just take a little smile and then let it go? Keep tapping on the jaw muscles. And this time, can we take a smile and can we connect the energy of the smile to our belly where we were just tapping a couple of minutes ago? Can we do that? Should we try? So take a smile and just see if you can connect the smile to the belly. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. We're just getting curious about the wiring in the body, how the energy travels. And then finally, if you're up for it, let's take a smile and connect the energy of the smile to the soles of our feet. You up for that? Let's give it a go. It's more of a stretch for me. <laughs> and then we can allow the tapping to come down onto the top of the lip, down onto the jaw. Whatever feels good, linger where you feel you need the tapping the most. Allow the body to inform on what needs to be given attention, tapping down onto the underside of the jaw. Whatever feels good to you in that area, down onto the neck and the, whatever it's, whether it's the side of the neck or the front of the neck, whatever feels it needs your attention. And then we can tap down the center of the sternum with both fingers. If you want to yawn, that's a sign of appreciation. <laughs> it's a sign of nervous system reset, so it's brilliant if you want to yawn. And you're tired as well, right? Then tapping down onto that diaphragm area again, working our way back down to the belly. Back, give flat to the hands, another couple of taps on the belly. Stay there for another 10 or 20 seconds. Ah, breathing in, breathing out. Ah. And then we're ready, we can slow up the movement of hands and just allow ourselves to stand. Maybe just shake off the shoulders and the knees and just a quick check in on where we're at. So we've worked the left side of the body, we've tapped the right side of the body, tapped down the center line, the belly. Those of us that bent forward, we've tapped down the front line onto the toes, all the way back up the back line, onto the back, all the way up through the skull and the head, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the jaw, all this area here and back down. So what does the body feel like? If it had like an energy signature, would it be dull, boring, exciting, vibrating? Invigorating. Invigorating. Like you're swirling. Ooh. Like swirling. Inside or outside or? Like I'm seeing swirling. That's great. Does it feel disconcerting or are you okay with it? It feels different, but not disconcerting. It's, it's, like, it's a very curious feeling. I think energy is moved and it's not sure exactly what it's set up. You've loosened your energy. That's what you said you were going to do? Yeah. I feel the energy just on the outside of my body, all over my body. Just a little bit of time. It's kind of... Yeah. Cool. No wrong or right, we're just exploring where the energy is. So let's shake off, shake off the hands, shake off the feet. And we're gonna, thanks for the cue, Seb. We're gonna work from the inside out now. This is Healing Sounds, which is a practice taken from a bit of a Tai Chi god called Mantak Chia, um, must be in his eighties now. And this guy developed a whole series of um, internal energetic uh, exercises. Um, one is called the microcosmic orb orbit, which you might know from yoga. It's basically circulating up the back line all the way back down to the front line. But this is working on each organ and each organ has a movement, a sound and a color. And we're going to work through five organs and we're going to start with the lungs here in the center of the body. Color is white. So I want you to visualize the color white if you can. And the movement is just reaching up to the sky and then hands down the center line, which is like a classic Qigong Tai Chi energy down movement. And the sound we're going to make for the lungs, I'm having a quite blank, little blank there is, thank you Seb. So we combine the sound, the color and the movement. And the idea is to put your focus, if you can, on where the vibration is when you create the sound. And does that vibration move anywhere? It might start on the lips, but it maybe it moves somewhere. Maybe it doesn't. And we'll do five, of, um, five, ra or five cycles of this. So when you're ready, bending down, take a breath in. Reach up, let the breath out as you come down. Visualize the color white, create the sound.
Eyes open or closed, whatever feels good to you. Brilliant, no rush, this is a nice slow practice. Reaching up to the heavens and visualizing bringing this white healing light down the center line of the body through the lungs. And allowing the attention to maybe rest on the physical movement as you reach up and then rest on the, where the vibration is as you create that healing sound. you can keep the knees soft keep the shoulders and the spine as soft as you can this time round you can almost imagining imagine swallowing that vibration sound it sounds weird it might mean that you can't make the sound but almost swallow that sound And when you're ready, you can put your hands, if you're happy to, on both of your lungs here in the center of the body. I don't know about you, but I don't often give my organs the kind of tributes they need, particularly my liver. <laughs> so let's start with the lungs and just if, if you're happy to say out loud or even internally, thank you, my lungs, I love you. Thank you, my lungs, I love you. I love you. Just allow that appreciation to sit there in the body. <sighs> When you're ready, you can let go. And the next healing sound is for the kidneys and adrenals. We've been there before, right here. Give them a rub if you like. Just get them accustomed to tuning in. So kidneys, healing sound, movement is elbows together, up in front of the face, and then arms opening up. So it's almost pushing the elbows together, up in front of the face. Sound is chew. Color is blue. Super easy to visualize because it's right in front of us, unless you have a different blue. And we'll do five of those. Again, keep the body as soft as you can. So take your breath in. Breath in. Like with the sound bowls, allowing the sound to resonate in your body, allowing the sounds of other people's chew to be digested by your ears. Felt by your body. And then just sensing where that vibration is, the vibration you're creating yourself. Where do you feel that? Uh, what final one, I think? Breath in. Ch change the pitch if you like. And if you're happy, hands on your kidneys, hands on your adrenals. And again, the same kind of thank you. In Chinese medicine, kidneys and adrenals are very much about courage and fear. So both sides of that equation. So if you need more courage, this is a great exercise. If you're feeling fearful, 10 of these, 20 of these in the morning can really help. But again, if you thank you, thank you, my kidneys, thank you, my adrenals. If it feels good, say it. If not, it's cool too. Thank you. So next healing sound is for the liver. You want to join in, Donna? Sure. Oh, we're good. Have we gone over? Okay. Well, yeah. Two to go. Go on. We'll do two more. Then. So uh, we're going to do liver, gallbladder. So Donna, there's a sound, a movement, and a colour, and we're working our way through the organs, and we've gotten to the liver. So the colour of the liver is green. So if you can visualise the colour green, and the movement is arms. Fists together, arms out in front, reaching forward. And the sound that you make is um, 
shh, shh, that kind of sound. And you combine the, the three together. So it's visualize the color green, shh. And as you reach out, do you maybe feel compression of the liver? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. So five of those. Allowing the focus to rest on the vibration. Where is the vibration? Shh, in your lips, in your face, in your neck. Shh. And how soft can the body be as you make this movement, create this sound? One more. And then again, if you're happy, you can rest your hand on the liver and gallbladder. And if you're happy to say a thank you, say thank you. Thank you, my liver. Thank you, my thank gallbladder. You, thank you, darling. Very well acquainted with your liver. That's a good thing. Uh, second to last healing sound is the heart. I think we all know where the heart is, right? Somewhere up here. Color, unsurprisingly, is red. Red. Movement is arms up the middle and then creating as much space as you can in the chest cavity as you open the arms. Sound is hoar, H-A-W. So we're going to combine those three things together for five movements, really sensing where that vibration is. So when you're ready, breath in. Maybe smile this time and see what it feels like. Is it different when you smile? I know it's hard because we're creating a sound. And this time, almost see if you can swallow the sound as you create it. Can you feel it inside? creating a sense of space in your heart center. How much space can you create in there? Ooh. Final one for the heart, knees bent, shoulders soft. Ooh. Allow, if you're happy, both of your hands to rest over your heart. Maybe close your eyes and just see if you can tune into the beating of the heart below your hand. If you can feel it, that's amazing. If you can't, it doesn't matter. Your hand is still over the heart, the place where this pump that pumps blood over 100,000 times a day, it's working. But more importantly, this is the feeling center. This is the place of connection to us to others, for our compassion, for our love, for our belonging. This is such an important place to spend time connecting to, I think. So we're happy just to stay here for a few seconds, connecting to the joy that's in the heart. Hopefully we can connect to some of that joy. We're here for joy. And if we can't, that's fine. Just be with what's there. Maybe just stay here for a couple of seconds. And if you're happy to thank your heart, either out loud or in your head, please do. And if not, that's fine. So thank you, my heart, I love you. I love you. Maybe if we're out of time, that's a good place to stop. The heart seems a pretty good place to finish the practice if we're out of time. So I hope that these little playful games have given us a sense of what's stuck and what's moving in the body. Again, there's no wrong or right. All of our bodies are different. There's a few techniques that you can use. Breath, you guys know about anyway, but you know, tapping is a great way to become embodied if we're stuck in the loop of the mind. Healing sounds, if you close your eyes and you're doing it on your own, can be a great way to kind of go inside. So they're all useful techniques just to kind of push the envelope of where the energy is and maybe get us embodied. So the playful mess around techniques, but maybe they go deeper. What do I know? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for playing. And thank you for playing. Thank you for playing.